Today's students, our lesson is all about the two-point form of a line presented by yours truly, Mrs. Abigail M. Bernardino. The most essential learning competencies, first, graphs a linear equation given A, any two points, B, the x and y intercepts, C, the slope and a point on a line. Second, finds the equation of a line given A, two points, B, the slope and a point, and C, the slope and its intercepts. Objectives. At the end of the topic, 80% of the learners with 80% proficiency should be able to First, write the equation of a line given two points. Second, graph a linear equation using the two-point form. Third, show interest in solving the problems about the two-point form of a line. The two-point form of a line, the equation of a line passing through the points x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, is y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Let's have the examples. Graph the line passing through two points and find its equation. Let's have the first one. We have 2, 1, and 4, 5. Here is point 2, 1. And here is point 4, 5. Then, we connect the points with the line. Now, we're going to label the given so that it will be easier for us to substitute it later on. For the first point, 2 is x sub 1 and 1 is y sub 1. For the second point, we have 4 as x sub 2. And 5 will be y sub 2. We're going to write the formula y minus 1 or y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. So we're going to substitute the values. We have y minus y sub 1 is 1 equals y sub 2 is 5 minus y sub 1 which is 1 all over x sub 2 is 4 minus x sub 1 which is 2 times the quantity x minus x sub 1 which is 2. Then we're going to simplify. y minus 1 equals 5 minus 1. The answer is 4 over 4 minus 2. The answer is 2. Then, times the quantity x minus 2. y minus 1 equals 4 divided by 2. The answer is positive 2. Times the quantity x minus 2. Then, we're going to multiply 2 to x at, at the same time to negative 2. So, we have y minus 1 equals 2 times x. The answer is 2x. Then, we have 2 times negative 2. The answer is negative 4. Then, we're going to transpose negative 1 to the right side of our equal sign. From negative 1, it will be positive 1. So, we have y equals 2x minus 4 plus 1. 
And finally, we have y equals 2x negative 4 plus 1. The answer is negative 3. And this is the equation of the line. So, we can write here y equals 2x minus 3. For our second example, we have 2, negative 5, and negative 3, 1. Here is the point 2, negative 5. And here is negative 3, 1. Once again, we connect the points with a line. Then, let's label our given. 2 is x sub 1. And negative 5 is y sub 1. Then, negative 3 is x sub 2. And 1 is our y sub 2. Then, using the formula, we have y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Then, substitute the values. We have y minus negative 5 equals 1 minus negative 5 over negative 3 minus 2 times x minus 2. Here, we simply multiply negative 1 times negative 5, then it will be y plus 5 equals 1 plus 5 over negative 3 minus 2 times x minus 2. Then we have y plus 5 equals 1 plus 5. The answer is positive 6. All over negative 3 minus 2. The answer is negative 5 times x minus 2. Then we have y plus 5 equals, we're going to multiply the numerator 6 to x and at negative 2. So, 6 times x. So, we have 6x over negative 5. Then, we have 6 times negative 2. The answer is what? Negative 12 over negative 5. So here, we can, what? Change this into positive and we place the negative sign at the numerator. So we have y plus 5 equals negative 6x over 5 plus 12 over 5. Then, what? We move positive 5 to the right side of our equal sign. So, here, going to write, y equals negative 6x over 5 plus 12 over 5. So, we can change or we can write negative 5. From here, we can change this negative 5 to equivalent fraction with a denominator of 5. And it will be y equals negative 6x over 5 plus 12 over 5 minus 25 over 5. Because we cannot add 12 over 5 or we cannot add Simplify 12 over 5 minus 5 if it is not similar fractions. 
Then finally, we have y equals negative 6x over 5. 12 minus 25, the answer is what? Negative 13 over 5. And this is the equation of the line. We're going to write it here. So we have y equals negative 6x over 5 minus 13 over 5. And this is the final answer. And finally, our last example, we have 1, negative 4, and 4, 4. So here is 1, negative 4, and here is point four four. Then we connect the points with the line. Once again, label the given, x sub 1, which is 1, and y sub 1 is negative 4. Then we have x sub 1, or sorry, x sub 2, which is positive 4, and y sub 2, which is 4. Then write the formula. y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. So we have y minus negative 4 equals 4 minus negative 4 all over 4 minus 1 times x minus 1. Then we have y plus 4 because we are going to multiply here, equals 4 plus 4 minus, or sorry, all over 4 minus 1 times x minus 1. Then we have y plus 4 equals 8 all over 4 minus 1. The answer is 3 times x minus 1. Then, once again, we're going to uh, multiply the numerator, which is 8, to x and multiply it at negative 1. So, simply distribution. We have y plus 4 equals 8x over 3 minus 8 times, or sorry, 8 times negative 1, the answer is negative 8. Then copy the denominator, which is 3. Then, we're going to transpose positive 4 to the right side of our equal sign. It would be negative. We have y equals 8x over 3 minus 8 over 3 minus 4. Then once again, like in the second example, we're going to find the equivalent fraction of negative 4. And the denominator must be 3. So y equals 8x all over 3 minus 8 over 3 minus the equivalent fraction of 4. With the denominator of 3 is 12 over 3. Then y equals 8x over 3, negative 8 minus 12. The answer is negative 20 over 3. Now, here is our equation of the line. We can write it as y equals 8x over 3 minus 20 over 3. Let's wrap it up. The formula in finding the equation of the line passing through the two points is y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 
minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Let's exercise our minds. I want you to graph the line passing through two points and find its equation. For the first one, we have 7, 3, and 1, 2. Second, we have negative 1, negative 4, and 2, 3. Third, we have negative 5, negative 8, and negative 4, negative 6. Finally, we have 3, 8, and negative 9, negative 2. So practice it so that your skills will be enhanced. For our math quotable quotes, some people are very good at pointing out others' mistakes, but very poor in realizing their own. It is from Sanhaya. Don't forget to connect with me in the following social media sites. Thank you for watching!